welcome to my studio. Uh, so today we're shooting actually about a couple things. Uh, this is my first day of shooting video with my new iPhone. So we're kind of experimenting with that. And I'm also doing a uh, painting that's a, a wedding gift for uh, uh, good friends of mine. So first let me talk about the iPhone. So I'm really excited, I've got my new iPhone. Uh, we've already ascertained that we can use it to shoot uh, photos in this of my paintings to upload to Facebook so that's going to save us a lot of time now we're hopefully going to be able to use it to shoot just my Facebook videos and blog videos because up until now what we've had to do is bring all of our camera equipment from the basement that we use for my YouTube videos bring that all up into my studio when we need to shoot and then lug it all back down so we're hoping that the iPhone is going to give us the ability to just have that set up in my studio and use that exclusively up here so right now we're just shooting with the plain I, iPhone uh, video app, which is not very sophisticated. So that's this here is probably not very good sound quality and not the best video quality. So the first thing that we're going to do to upgrade it is we're going to switch to an app that's called Filmic that has much more control, allows you to do white balance, and uh, hopefully will allow us to get a better quality video. So let's switch to that. Okay, so now we're shooting with the iPhone, but with the Filmic app. So this allows us to do a custom white balance, to lock the exposure, uh, to lock the aperture, um, and gives us a little more control in terms of the quality of the video. Um, so let me talk now about this painting that I'm doing. Um, this is the first painting that I will have done in about 10 years with any figures in it. So I'm kind of excited about that. They're going to be silhouetted, just like uh, my trees normally are. Um, but this is a wedding gift for a friend of mine, Sean and Alana Rupel. So Sean has a cabin up in Batchewana Bay where I've spent a lot of time hiking and taking photos and they've been very, very good to me in terms of uh, opening up their cabin uh, for me to go there as a base when I go on my trips to gather material. Uh, some of you may have seen the video on YouTube of last spring when Sean and Alana had me up there to their cabin uh, just as the ice was still in, with these huge ice hummocks 20 feet high up at Lake Superior. And anyways, we'll put a link on this to, to access that if you haven't seen it. But this is a shot, uh, this is from based on a photo that I took of them while we were out hiking on Lake Superior for this spectacular sunset. So they were married last fall. Um, and as usual, I was way behind with keeping my galleries supplied. So this is actually going to be a belated uh, wedding present for them. So we'll use this uh, as an opportunity as well to get to use the iPhone. And as we add, uh, we've ordered some things now that are going to increase the lighting capabilities, increase the sound capabilities, so that hopefully we'll be able to just keep this permanent setup here in my studio, um, just using my iPhone and leave the big camera equipment downstairs. Well, that's enough talk. Uh, I guess I better get to work on this. So we'll, uh, we'll keep coming back and you can see this painting as it progresses.
so here's the finished painting. I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. Uh, but I mentioned about controlling the light and the audio. So what we've done now is I've replaced all of my bulbs with daylight temperature bulbs. So that's not fighting with the light coming in through the window. And we've also just got a cheap lamp with multiple um, heads on it that we plug daylight uh, lamps into. But right now we're still operating on the microphone that's within the iPhone. As you can see I have here, I've got a Rode lavalier mic that's made specifically for the iPhone. So we're going to plug that in now. Cameron, why don't you go ahead, plug that in, push it all the way. We should notice an immediate um, improvement in the quality of the sound. And this is something that's really a game changer. I actually have a lavalier mic, um, a wireless uh, Sennheiser that I use on my, my big video camera, but that's like a $600 uh, combination. This is about $70 for the, for the mic and wire, and then we've got an extension uh, wire that goes to 20 feet. So basically for under $100, you're getting pro quality audio. Um, and the beautiful thing about this is not only can we shoot these videos with that, but when I go out in the field, if I'm shooting with a digital SLR camera, um, I can actually record the audio. I can have my iPhone in my pocket, have the lav mic hooked up, and I can get professional quality audio onto my iPhone while I'm shooting with the SLR. And then in post-production uh, in Adobe Premiere, we can sync those up. Um, and it's just a, an amazingly cheap option to get professional quality sound. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with this painting. Now we're gonna go to a, um, a, a really good still shot of the painting. Um, and I just, I'm really, really happy with how the figures are silhouetted that uh, light just cutting in on uh, Alana's shoulder, but in particular too, how the figures are kind of situated within the painting. And initially they looked kind of like they were cut out. Um, and, but by putting all of that color into the figures and the reflected light of the snow into the blues on the, on the uh, shadow side of the figures, it really looks like they're situated in there. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm looking forward to, they're coming tonight for dinner and we're going to uh, unveil the painting and give it to them. So uh, stick around and we'll see how that goes. You can't tell I'm bald. <laughs> yeah, you did it perfect. Wow. It's gonna make me cry from so much wow. these days. That is awesome. Wow. It's toast. I'd like to propose a toast to our good friend Sam and the incredible painting we made for him. Why not? Cheers. 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 And uh, my wife, Diane, made us a beautiful dinner to celebrate. Um, and the painting's now hanging uh, proudly in their home. Uh, we had a really interesting conversation last night with Sean's dad, uh, Tom. Tom used to be a cameraman with uh, CBC News. And he was telling us that he used one of the very first wireless uh, lav mics that were available back 35, 40 years ago. And at that time, it was over a $20,000 piece of equipment. So it just kind of blew our minds that basically with an iPhone and a mic worth about 100 bucks, we can get sound quality equivalent to that. Um, before we wrap up, um, I just want to mention I'm using an iPhone 5S. So even though I say it's my new iPhone, it is. It's uh, not the latest version. So I imagine with the newest uh, iPhone, the video quality is even better. Um, but I want to mention a couple things as well. You've probably noticed, although you may not have, that we're using a tripod to shoot. And so it's really important when you're using a handheld device, especially something small like a phone, that you stabilize it. You don't want it to be shaking and wobbling and that's, that's really distracting and really unprofessional uh, kind of video quality. So for these static kind of shots, we've just got the iPhone uh, mounted on a little, uh, a little jig that uh, is made for phones that goes into the, um, the tripod. And I'm actually just shooting this myself. Camera's not even in here in the room with me. Um, but one thing that is really um, effective in adding you know, a little more interest to your videos is when the camera itself moves. So you can spend a lot of money on handy cam rigs, um, but they're, you know, they can be quite expensive, they're tricky to use, and it's just, it's just more gear. And what we're trying to do is just kind of pare this down as simple as possible. Um, and so what we did, uh, and we found works really well, is we just shortened all the legs on the tripod down, as short as they will go, 
keep the iPhone on the tripod. I mean, Cameron had his elbows locked. He had two of the tripod legs resting against his, his belly and the uh, control arm resting against his chest. And then he just moved slowly. And so you can see those shots when Sean and Alana come in the house and we intentionally showed Cameron in the mirror there. So you can go back and see that and you can see the rig that he's using with the tripod to hold the phone. Um, so that's one thing is, yeah, you really want to stabilize that platform. The last thing is actually kind of embarrassing, but what the heck, I figure uh, if I did it, I'm, someone else probably would, and maybe I can save you some time here. And this has to do with the Rode uh, lav mic. So when I, got it, when I got it in the mail, you know, I couldn't wait to get it out and try it, and I was really excited about you know, improving the sound quality. So I plugged the, uh, plugged the uh, mic into the headphone jack, you know, just hit record in Filmic, and did a test one, two, test one, two, you know, hit stop, uh, went to play it back, and the video was fine, but no audio coming out of the phone. And I did it about four times and no audio. And so I went in and I looked, maybe I need to adjust something in settings and uh, you know, couldn't find anything. Went on the internet searching for what the problem was, thought maybe I needed another app for the audio. Uh, it basically two hours uh, later, um, as I'm trying one more time, I noticed that the, the sound meter bars are actually moving while I'm recording. So I'm thinking, okay, sounds coming into the phone it's just not coming out and then it hits me i've got the microphone still plugged into the headphone jack so the phone just knows that there's something in the headphone jack and it's trying to send the sound signal out to the headphones which aren't there it's it's a microphone so as soon as i unplugged the uh the mic sure enough the audio was fine so uh yeah just shows you you know anything's easy if you know what you're doing but if you don't know what you're doing um, you can make some pretty silly mistakes so one last comment uh, just before we wrap. Um, I've, I've finished reviewing the entire video right up until this clip. This is the last thing that uh, we're filming. And I just have to say I'm blown away by the quality that's available using an iPhone with a you know, cheap little mic. Um, and I'm really excited about, uh, about continuing to use the iPhone to shoot these kind of videos, not having to lug all my uh, big expensive gear uh, up here. So I hope you found this interesting um, and enjoyable. And if you have, I encourage you to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I will see you next time.